So this one's called heart pleasuring. And this is something I learned in sexological body work. And I use this with a lot of my clients. It can be just an exercise to help you calm and relax. But if someone's taken Cialis or Viagra or they've had their injection and they're thinking, is it going to work? 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 That is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is getting in the way of the biological processes that are happening because this fight, flight, freeze is starting to tick on. So doing this heart pleasuring exercise can give them something to focus on instead of, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Because that voice just goes away. And it just becomes about being one with the body. And it's amazing how quickly the erections can start to happen once people get really good at doing this. The trick is to practice it when you're not doing anything sexual for a while. So you get really good at it. So we start off by placing one hand over the heart space and the other hand, it can either go cupping your genitals. So cupping your penis, vulva, whatever genitals you have. If that doesn't feel right or it doesn't feel comfortable, you can place it above just on your abdomen and just have it there. And if it doesn't feel right having it on your abdomen, you can place it over your other hand. Is this one anybody could do the sitting, standing, lying down? Yeah, it doesn't matter what position you're in. And we're going to start with the hands on the body. But if even if you're out and about, you can do this without your hands as well. So you could even do it while you're sitting on a tram or a train. So just taking a few moments just to settle. Noticing the connection that your body's making with the world, noticing your feet on the floor, if they're touching the floor, your bum on the chair, maybe your back is lying on the bed. And just taking a few moments to notice that grounding sensation of that connection. And then if it feels right for you, bringing your awareness to the palm of your hand that's touching your heart. And just seeing if you can bring your whole awareness that palm maybe you can feel the vibrations of your heart beating maybe you can feel the heat of your body your clothing just bringing all your attention to that point and then seeing if you can imagine however abstract it looks in your mind's eye as you breathe in your breath goes to that palm of your hand Breathing in through your nose and imagining your breath moving to the palm of your hand. And then long exhales out of your mouth. Now if it feels right for you, seeing if you can bring your awareness to the place where your hand is touching on your chest. Maybe you can feel the pressure of your hand, the heat from your hand. Maybe you can even feel your heartbeat reverberating in your chest. Maybe you can feel the movement of your breathing. Letting go of getting it perfect, letting go of getting it right, and just being curious. And in your mind's eye, see if you can imagine your breath moving to your heart space, this space where your heart is. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, if it feels right for you, shifting to your other hand and just noticing what you can feel in that hand, letting go of what you think you should be feeling and just noticing what's there. Just being curious about what you can feel, the tissues underneath your hand, the palm of your hand. And again, seeing if you can imagine your breath moving to this hand, however abstract that looks in your mind. Uh, Now if it feels right for you, shifting to your genitals, perhaps noticing the sensations that you're feeling there without any judgment, letting go of what you think they should or shouldn't be doing. This exercise is designed to just have curiosity about what you can feel, even if that is a numbness or nothing, it's still a sensation. Now, if it feels right for you, see if you can imagine your inhale going all the way down, right to the tip of your penis. Letting go of getting it perfect, 
And just seeing if your imagination can send your breath there. Now we're going to mix these sensations together. So as you breathe in, see if you can imagine your breath moving down to your heart and then continuing down to the tip of your penis. And then as you exhale, bringing it back up from the tip of your penis and up to your heart. Down with your inhale. Back up with your exhale. Down with your inhale. And back up with your exhale. And we'll do one more. Down with your inhale. And back up with your exhale. And then just pausing there for a moment. And seeing if you can Continue to have this awareness of your heart and of your genitals as you open your eyes and bring your awareness back to the room. So relaxing. <laughs> so the imaginary tip of my penis was feeling wonderful, Jane. Yeah, <laughs> mine too. <laughs> yeah. Actually, if somebody had a vulva, what would you put as a different prompt there? Um, depending on where they were at, I might say down to your tip of your clitoris, or I might say breathing into your vestibular bulbs. So they're two um, structures that sit either side of the vaginal opening that, that engorge with blood. They're erectile structures, very similar to the structures that are right at the base of the penis. So if you go behind your balls and you have a feel around there, you've got the same thing there, these erectile tissues. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? We've yeah. all the same hearts. It's just all arranged differently in these yeah. amounties. <laughs> Actually, top tip, if anybody wants to really learn about the vulva and then about vulva pleasuring, using sexological bodywork techniques, Tessa Vez also has a short online course oh. that they could dive into straight after this. Oh. Lauren, I'm feeling so relaxed. <laughs> I feel that one in particular. It sort of feels like going down an elevator in terms of my nervous system mm. um so when that kind of feeling's happening would you say that is that something like the vagal nerve is is being activated I'd say so yeah that would be the, the the vagus nerve is helping the body to calm so it's what it's doing is it's taking the sensations in from the organs and it's taking that information up to the brain and letting the brain know that it's safe so then the brain can help by calming releasing biochemicals to help the body calm to help the muscles calm to help the fascia calm the fascia that I was talking about before it, it sort of it changes its consistency when we calm like that with our deep breathing and just that bringing awareness to different parts of the body it's really interesting that the the parts of the brain that take in the sensations of the body they overlap with the parts of the brain that regulate our emotions so when we're noticing the sensation in our body, we're actually helping our emotions calm at the same time. 